those that are befriending the enemies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah is not pleased with them. Those that befriend the friends of Allah, Allah is pleased with them. Alaysa kathalik. Ula'ika kataba fi qulubihimul iman. For such he has written faith in their hearts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written iman in their hearts. Yani Allah has put a rubber stamp of legitimacy on their iman. Why? Because they do not befriend those that oppose Allah and his messenger. So on top of that, because of what they have done now, that they, they only befriend the friends of Allah. So by virtue of that, Whoever does not befriend the enemies of Allah, those that oppose Allah and his messenger, and is now obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and is giving his allegiance to Allah and his messenger, then such a person will be in Jannah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about his awliya, those that give their allegiance to Allah, those on whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has conferred his mercy and his pleasure on. Allah says in Surah Yunus, Ala inna awliya Allah la khawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun. Behold, verily, the awliya, the friends of Allah, la khawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun. This is their reward. There is no fear on them, neither shall they grieve. Now, what is this fear? Nothing will shake their iman. And this also is likened to in Alladhina Qalu in Surah Fussilat, Quran 41. In Alladhina Qalu Rabbuna Allahu Thumma Staqamu Tatanazzalu Alayhimul Malaika Alla Takhafu Wala Tahzanu Do not be afraid of what you're going to meet when you die and do not be sad over what you're going to leave behind of your family and you know your estates. Allah will take care of everything. You are only given glad tidings of the beautiful things that you're going to meet in your grave before the ultimate gift of Jannah. And what you leave behind, Allah will take care of them. Why? Because you are a friend of Allah.